what's going on everybody i am the goods on youtube tg so good over on twitter you guys follow me on twitter make sure you follow me on twitter um that way you can keep up with me more easily if you want to just you know hit me up all right so anyway as you can see here on nlsc i've been doing a little work this thread that i'm going through is a thread in the uh, tutorial frequently asked uh, questions section the thread was started by k smiz basically we're just looking to update the cheat table what the cheat table allows us to do which let me pull it up real quick what it allows us to do that's the jersey table this is edit players yeah it's uh it's got some stuff in there that's messed up right now but if i go into edit player in fact i need to show you guys anyway let me see if i go down here see i added a uh female player to the creator player menu because when you're in the WNBA roster you can't actually create females you can edit them but you can't create them so with the cheat table i was able to update some things that allowed uh, me to create this so let me go in that edit player real quick now this is a creator player and you're going to be able to tell because it has this here appearance and see i can actually edit her appearance um, do, 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 do. I'm, I'm not going to do it right now, but I can do it. But anyway, what I, you can see here now the addresses have updated. Thanks to K. Smith, he made a table that automatically detects when you are inside of the edit player menu. So that's cool. Um, but anyway, what this cheat table allows is it gives us basic a basic tool to do the things we want to do but for the tool makers for people who want to make tools it provides them the memory addresses and pointers so that they can make their tools that makes it easier on uh, you other guys in the community that want to easily make rosters so for guys like Louie and in the past Limnono um, having these addresses and pointers is really vital to making good tools now there are guys out there who can uh, make a tool very quickly uh, something simple they they did it on launch day they made very uh, they made tools very useful tools on launch day like there's a tool out there that can change your uh, my career cyber face um, you just hey, it's only for Windows 10 though but it can change your micro cyber face and stuff like that so those guys release those tools on launch day probably be because the game is so similar to 2k20 they were able to get those tools out very quickly but anyway um cheat cheat engine is the backbone of all of those tools that's how they find those addresses um most of them most people how they find the addresses stuff like that but anyway yeah um let's see i updated the section for personality badges because we needed to get rid of some set some of the uh what is it called hold on let me see so like if i go down to badges so i just use this stuff for creative players i don't use this on my career so don't ask me about my career all right, so I marked these in dark red because they need to be updated. They've got some stuff that needs to be added. But anyway, if I go to personality, these red categories, um, these badges are no longer in the game, to my knowledge. So I marked them red so I can know not to use them. I actually need to delete them. But I did add three badges down here that are in the game. And I believe one of these is like a gym rat badge but i don't even know if that can be equipped in uh i don't even know if that's usable in 2k21 i don't play my career so i don't know but anyway the red is stuff you don't need it's either stuff you don't need or stuff that no longer works in 2k21 i believe they all worked in 2k19 but they don't work in 2k21 
But anyway, I updated this so like if I want to have somebody have the team player personality badge, I can just equip it here very quickly. Go through these rather than go through the game menu, but I can also go through the game menu. Um, I also made a section under the signature animations, I believe. Yeah, Is this signature. Yeah, so I can copy over all the signature animations of a player. Let me make sure I did that right. Did I do that to tendencies? Nope. I was going to do it to tendencies also, but tendencies need to be updated. Um, but yeah, I can copy over all the signature animations of a player because I made this, uh, this little category here where I just I copy the data and then I'll like put it right here. I'll paste it right there. And then I'll go to a different player and then come back, get this information, copy it and paste it back up here when I go into a different player. But anyway, um, yeah, that's what I did with that. Um, how I did the female creator player, how I was able to do that is I went into a WNBA roster and if you go up here using this table, I'll leave the link to this thread in the description in case anybody's interested. But uh, this is mostly for people who are trying to help figure out the addresses so that we can get some tools out. But anyway, how I copied the female was right here where it says head data. I just copied this value and then appearance data copy that value and pasted them uh, I went into the male creator player and then I pasted those two values sets of values and uh, it came out I saved it and it came out as the female that it was uh, that I copied it from in WNBA and then I was able to go into the I'll show you real quick I was able to like go into edit head and just make some, you know, minor changes. You can do eyebrows and stuff like that, but you can't, you still can't access the female stuff from the in-game menu, but you can access, access like the female hair and um, eyebrow textures from the cheat table. Let me see mouth. So like if I go, like, let me just show you real quick. If I go to mouth, you'll see her mouth change. So you can do that type of stuff. But anyway, I'm just going to be using this cheat table now. Now that I have a female created, I can just create her likeness in this screen and then copy it back over to the WNBA roster. Anyway, that's all I got for this video. This video is probably too long, but just wanted to explain that stuff. So, all right, guys, uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Just continuing doing what I'm doing. Uh, catch you guys next time.